right, how's everybody doing today? Uh, today, we got our third knife in the old three-part series of uh, affordable blades. Um, already did a, we'll go in order of the videos. I did a video on the Appalachian Jack. This thing right here, for the $33, I got a very impressive. Very impressive walk and talk, action, fit and finish. Blue Creek Knives, again, watch the video if you haven't seen it. This is just your buck 110 slim select um, from Royal King. I think this was $24. Um, so what do we got? 50, like $57 here. And then we got the Saw Gambit. Um, this one right here, got it off of DLT Trading. It, I, originally I thought it was 20 or 21, but it is $22.95. So that is what I paid for that. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk about the old saw gambit today and see how it falls in line with our affordable knife um, set we got here. Um, but yeah, this is the packaging. It is just, you know, your clamshell type thing. It's got a little information here. Gambit, digi grip, textured handle, curved sheep foot blade, lifetime warranty. It's part of their tactical series. Oh man. Then on the back, if you guys want to kind of pause that and read it you can you know it's got uh, overall length 7.28 inches blade length a little over two and a half um, handle material GRN uh, glass reinforced nylon I believe what that stands for then we got the uh, the steel here 7 CR 17 MOV Rockwell of 54 to 58 um, again lifetime warranty made in China so what we have so far is we got Two options that are made in China, then we got the USA Buck 110 Slim Select. So, yeah. That's what we have so far. So what we're going to do is uh, let's open this thing. I know i got some scissors here somewhere because yesterday I was trying to open the uh, this one right here with a knife and it wasn't working. So we're just going to use some scissors and try to see what the best way is to get into this thing. I mean, they make it to where, you know, they definitely don't want you stealing this stuff, but at the same time, man, it's sometimes a pain to get into these. I can just get into that clamshell a little bit there. Oh, yeah, bud. There we go. And we got the, the sheath. All right. So that worked. Actually using scissors today. So, okay, let's put these to the side here. And let's just talk about this one. So if we look, it's got... There you go. Saw gambit there. Saw in your GRN handle. Oh, and the dogs are playing with toys. You gotta love it. <laughs> and on this side, you got Sog again. It looks like that could possibly glow in the dark. I'm not sure. So, see how she fits inside the sheath here. Oh, nice snap. Nice retention. Well, if you look at the sheath, we got the... Oh, man. That is scary right there. Sog again in the sheath. So I'll get on this side and I believe, you know, you could probably adjust that retainer. That way you could wear it up and down or in the scout selection. So looks like that runs off a, an Allen key. So yeah, you got an Allen key you can fit down in there. Adjust that to however you want to do it. You got holes here for some paracord. Then of course you could even use this as a neck knife option if you had a some type of a you know lanyard or something you can hang it uh, to me it's a it's a little big for a neck knife yeah let's, let's kind of look at how she fits i mean a couple of different ways you could hold this you know if you're ever in a defense situation you could put that through your finger you know i definitely don't know if i'd want to punch someone with that but i mean you could definitely get them going with that yeah let's look at it. I know it said what the overall length was on the 
the package itself. So yeah, it's you know seven and a seven and eighth inches long, and then let's do the cutting length only. So we got her on the ten. She goes all the way, almost all the way to twelve inches. So a full two inches of cutting length that you have there to slice and dice if you needed to. I don't think that's the sharpest I've ever felt. Yeah, just holding it. I don't know, my pinky just doesn't feel right fitting in there like that. But if you're holding it like this, again, it's probably my hand. You know, I feel a lot more comfortable holding it like that than I do if I put my hand in there. This just feels, you see how much I got sticking out there. I just don't feel very good. So if I'm in a defense situation, maybe you can hold it like that, maybe. And there's just a lot of different options. Definitely makes a nice box cutter, though, if you ever needed it for that. All right. We're going to see if it is hair popping sharp. Let's just see here if we can... Yeah, it ain't taking no hair off my arm. I mean, there is a little bit to come off, but that's just from pulling it. That is not sharp at all. Which I didn't think it was. <laughs> but for $23, I can sharpen that up really easy and really fast. Again, nice box cutter. But I don't know. I don't think I'm going to wear this around my neck. Uh... Yeah, I don't know, fellas. What do you guys think of this? I mean, if I was going into a situation where I thought I would need this, yeah. I've also got plenty of fixed blades I could put in my pocket as well. Yeah, I don't know. This is a, again, it's $23. I had free shipping because, um, of course, my order was over a hundred bucks. But yeah, I just don't know. This just isn't. This is not my style whatsoever. <laughs> Again, that just feels. It feels like if you you had this in your hand like this, and you swung and that caught on something. Yeah, I don't know. But I mean, I definitely wouldn't want someone coming at me with this. It'd scare the shit out of me. We got some jimping here on the back so yeah you can the jimping does feel good though that does I mean that's grippy jumping right there very grippy yeah there it is the sog gambit let's look at the blade sock I mean we're not too awful thick we'll just uh, let's say let's just so that compares to a pair of two here. If you look, it's thinner than what the pair of two is. And this right here, you can just put it in your pocket. No one knows that you have a self-defense style blade. And this is choke up. Yeah. So I don't know, fellas. What do you think? Does anybody have one of these? Does anyone actually like carry this and use it? I don't know. I could see this as something that when I hit 500 subscribers and did a giveaway, this would definitely be in the package to pass along. Uh, my wife hears me say this all the time. You know, we'll be walking out at the flea markets or whatever, and she'll go, There's some knives. I said, Them are tchotchke knives. I feel like, I don't want to call it a tchotchke knife, but man. I just don't know. This is not my speed, but it might be someone else's. Tell me what you guys... I do like that you can adjust this clip to carry it in different options. I do like that you can carry it as a neck knife. Um, it would probably been a lot better if it would have come sharp. This is dull. Very, very, very dull. Um, so yeah, it could have been sharper. I like the jimping. I like the holding it like this. I just... with the ring... If you are in a defense situation and you don't want it coming out of your hand, I do see that. Um, but again, I don't feel comfortable holding it like this. See how much sticks out there. This was shorter. 
and the blade was closer to my pinky. And I'm a big dude. You know, I, I don't want to say I'm a huge dude. I'm just, you know, 6'1", 250 some. But I thought that would be a lot smaller. But it's just not. So I'd like it. You can pop it off real quick like that. So, yeah. There it is. So all in all, conclusion is if you knew you were going to get into something and you needed something like that, yeah. And you don't have anything else, take it. But if you have something like this or like this. Or any type of fixed blade, I'd probably take those instead. I mean, if you need something very fast, very handy around your neck, and this is all you had. That's all you got. You gotta take it. You gotta take what you got. Take what you got, and this this would be it. So, <laughs> tell me what you think. This is it. This is our three budget knives. Um, you know, a fixed blade, smaller, traditional. I love this traditional. The buck. Buck is becoming a favorite as well. This is a nice, you know, for what I paid for this, $23, $24 for a buck 110. I like it. So these two definitely like this is uh I don't know, something to be desired. I, I don't know if I could get comfortable ever carrying this. It's I don't know. If it was shorter, maybe, maybe. So yeah, tell me what you think. Like, subscribe. That's my three budget options. Tell me what you think.